All right, so we got don't press this button or Fortnite will ban you. Let's get right to the if video. If you press this button in Fortnite, something really bad happens. Uh -oh. If you buy this skin, you can get punished for customizing it. Where Epic Why? really messed up is when players rush to buy the new exotics only to be left furious. The most wanted update released five new weapons that had me really excited until I saw the price tags on them. Oh, but spending no. a couple Laughing. hundred gold is one thing, but a thousand just to try the new weapon and then died a little Timmy the sweat five seconds later, it's <laughs> painful. Well, yeah, turns okay. Out Fortnite agrees with me because they actually changed their mind to have them be 750 still expensive but a little yeah, more it's better it's better than a thousand also get these from the bosses or vaults but if you're landing somewhere else prepare to have your wallet emptied oh, on the man. topic fortnite recently made an app called post party and it's super useful if you want to get clips straight to your phone but be careful of the curse button it is not oh. the free rewards you get for signing up like this rapper spray but it's what happens after a lot of people connected their fortnite account got the rewards and yeah. then tried to disconnect from post party you see there was only one setting which straight up said delete account i don't blame people for thinking maybe this is just deleting your post party account oh, right well, that's until man. you press it and watch your fortnite locker vanish before your eyes i mean why would they that's add this crazy. if you still have your account wait until you see the next reboot rally items last time we got wolverine's claws which was pretty controversial because okay. they were considered to be exclusive so all the people who felt special because they owned a goku man the goat happy. This next batch might be even worse because we're about to get the Matrix wrap, a Battle Bus Emoticon from a Chapter 1 Battle Pass, and that an Matrix wrap Mr. looks Beast amazing. Umbrella. If this actually happens, the skin community will riot. When Epic screws up, sometimes it could be first a good person. thing. Like when they accidentally <laughs> enabled it. first person mode for a week. Obviously, yeah. they knew they would fix their mistake, but this meant removing the one thing everybody loved. I'm just glad it was working in the first place because that means I've seen I've seen this on TikTok. I'll be real. But that's not as mysterious as an option that appeared in this week's update and vanished just hours later. Okay. There was a feature to report people for an offensive outfit, which sounds ridiculous, but it's true. The option Wait, was vaulted on the same day, but with the most wanted skins How? around the corner What's... it could return at any moment because the customization might get a little out of hand how do you we're all waiting for Geralt to get some what? more cosmetics the wait for a secret skin felt like an eternity when Fortnite made the skins how can they be offensive they, yeah, they gotta take that to out his bonus rewards when they finally unlock it'll be the 28th at the end of the season will be just a week away now, I wasn't okay. expecting the shockwave hammer to be irrelevant so quickly it went <sighs> from the most loved item of chapter 4 mm -hmm. to the most boring within a few weeks Epic is did you just say most loved no, no, no. It was the most hated item. It was the most hated item. No one liked the... Bro, no, bro. Hey, shout out to Kid Roy, bro. They were all split into two separate skins, forcing you to choose between one set or the other. You couldn't get everything in one bundle, which could get really expensive sometimes. True, But the real problem with collabs happened when Epic messed up the Dragon Ball Super event. You could finally buy Gohan in the shop, and this version was based on the superhero movie where he has a beast form. Fans yeah, were where's super that at? excited about this and even yeah. spotted it on his spray. But when they looked, his B style was nowhere was to be found. It? Yeah. In fact, I'm guessing they're it saving never it. existed in the first place. I'm guessing, that's not really epic. I'm guessing they're saving they it. They never said we get one. But come on, I mean, that spray is just a slap. In uh, the yeah, face. it has to be. Just yeah. like Fortnite ruining skins in the weirdest ways. This chapter, we've seen sideways heads, Sarah Connor turning into a horse, and Ew. me getting pink guy. It's pretty funny. Oh, not to my lord. Sparkle specialist woke up one day and didn't have a sparkle anymore. It's looking like Omega Knight stole it at least he isn't completely oiled up like half the skins from chapter one now nah, she is shiny do has already become one of their biggest mistakes oh Yanni no weapons have been the greatest part of the season and fortnite adds the more perks. every update it's amazing but the, the rng perks. feels pretty unbalanced yeah. when you just can't get any useful perks throughout a whole game especially when they double the price to re-roll now i just gotta stop and thank epic yeah. for fixing Bro, a problem thank you, that Lord. never had thank to be you, solved Lord. the deku mythic was yes, one of the most anticipated items thank ever you. and when it released everybody thank rushed you. to use it little did we know Bro, Thank you. Smash would only be around for a couple days. Thank you. Removed Remove it. Glitch. Thank you, bro. By and it wasn't looking good as the My Hero Academia event ended. Well, that's when Deku's Mythic suddenly returned alongside a second Dragon Ball collab. I mean, I gotta say, <sighs> really I say hated it, bro. I, can't say the same I hated Alcadro little Deku Smash, whatever. I hated it, bro. Team killing. If your teammate is down, you can literally pick them up and just drop them from the sky, eliminating them. Really? For people who play fills with randoms, what? this is both hilarious and ruining games. And while Epic recently 
only fix the huge problem with challenges, they have completely ignored the storyline. I never go for the challenges. I'm going to just be honest. But nobody realized it also applied to the Oathbound challenges, which are the most interesting quests on the island right now. Despite okay. that, you could only do the current objectives, and all the parts before it are gone forever. People starting right now are missing out on tons of important storyline info, not to mention the XP and exclusive rewards. And sadly, it's not the only thing Epic mid -season locked away. Skin styles. When it comes to mid-season drops, you have to earn 50 levels just to get them. Doesn't sound too bad. 50 levels? They didn't release for two months. That means anyone who finished their past would have to do it all over again. Fortnite oh, no. Nah. up crossovers for years, and despite complaints, hey, look at that they're Joker. still doing look it to Look at the Joker in Fortnite, bro. I mean, we're talking bro. about paid bundles, which have been around for a while, and disappoint thousands of people. Sometimes you okay. just want to buy a skin, but with these, it's all or nothing. Coughing up money for three characters when you don't want them, it's pretty annoying. True. Take a look at this Marvel pack. If you like Black Panther, you had to pay for Taskmaster oh, and Captain Marvel 2. You like Joker? Well, the last slap pack forced you to get Poison Ivy and Midas You Rex know what? It wouldn't really be a problem for me. Time, if I'm being honest, that wouldn't really be a problem for me. A $300 paywall. Hunmaster Saber played a big role in Chapter 3's story, even acting as a boss with his own mythic. When his skin yeah. was revealed, everyone was excited until they figured out the catch. To buy the skin, you needed this Gilded Hunter Xbox. The sold out in most places. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, you keep that. One, you keep that skin. I don't want that. No, no, you keep it. In the community over Fortnite's I concerts. Just say, in the past, they've been huge yeah, events with Marshmallow, Travis Scott, and Ariana Grande. The Travis Scott Last one was the best one. one. Let's be real. And in 2023, the closest we've gotten is the Kid Leroy's event. This was incredible and showed the true potential of creative mode. But people are worried this is the future of Fortnite concerts and that the days of live events are gone forever. Bro. I don't think it'll happen, but it's been a long time since the Rift Orb, so who knows? Bro, what bro. I do know is how reboot vans are broken in Chapter 4, all thanks to a simple trap. Rose have discovered that you can build 34 meters above a van and trap people in before they get a chance to fully oh, reboot. It's busted. Man. Most of these issues are just an inconvenience. Those, but those are cheeses. Those, those are sweats. Those are cheers. We, new most we don't worry event. about those. Doing challenges will give you free cosmetics just like the Dragon Ball crossover. Okay. When you look at the rewards, they're mostly identical to items that already exist. I'm going to put it out yeah. there. These are free, so you can't really complain, but there is an option to buy these. No, nah, I'm complaining. Bucks, which I wouldn't recommend at all. Speaking of freebies, the Mr. Beast tournament hey, shout was one to of the Mr. coolest Beast. events the Icon series has ever brought to the game. But Wasn't like a million perfect. dollars for there this, right? Yeah, servers, I knew it. Creative mode lag and glitchy parkour, causing people to lose unfairly and walk away without a prize. That's probably why Epic just released a new server in Central America and why the Mr. Beast umbrella is planned for Reboot Rally. Let's be honest, if we're talking about bad events, everyone universally agrees that Fracture wasn't up to the oh, standard. That's, uh, From the yeah. 40 minute long tasks to ignoring yeah. the storyline, it was pretty rough. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. It wasn't good. Tried I agree. New, and even though they missed the mark, I'm still bro, I respect Fortnite for trying different things, like. though. That's the, the thing I respect it, bro. Unlike some high. some other companies, I respect Fortnite it. Fortnite has messed up by revealing the storyline months in advance. <laughs> We've been spoiled on the appearance of Geno, Origin, and the Herald. So who knows what else is hiding in these surveys? Either way, we're just hoping Creative 2.0 is good. After Creative waiting years for it, it was delayed to January, and recently Tim Sweeney confirmed it's now expected in March. If it means any more time to perfect it, then we'll happily wait as long as it takes. Those were a few times Fortnite screwed up. It's been Tommy. Oh, those are in the video, bro. Gaming. Shout out to Top 5 Gaming, bro. I didn't know that was in this video. I was just, wow. Okay. Uh, one thing I wanted to say the Deku Smash, please. Hopefully, that gets, bro. First of all, uh, the, the Kamehameha, bro, is definitely, bro. <laughs> I can't lie. Me saying Kamehameha, bro, me saying that, bro, there was this one TikTok, bro. I need to show y'all. I need to like react to it one day, but it was just one TikTok, bro. <laughs> and, and this is when the like when Goku and everybody when everybody first dropped. It was like the first like Dragon uh, Dragon Ball collaboration with Fortnite, the first one, right? And this is what <laughs> this guy created the TikTok, and he was like covering like you know I, I think this guy he covers like Fortnite news or whatever he like Fortnite events, etc. So he was covering the Dragon Ball event. He was covering like you know everyone's moves, everyone's abilities, stuff like that, and so. <laughs> He said, he said, he said, the call me a mama wave. <laughs> I know it's like a few months old, but I, I, bro, every time I look at the video, bro, I, bro, I be wheezing, bro. The call me a, what did he say? Call me a mama. It, he said something like that. That was absolutely. Bro, I wish I could find it right now, but I don't want to waste you guys' time, bro. That that was hilarious, but 
you know what what i respect about fortnite is bro they listen to their, they listen to their community right they're not afraid to 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 try and fail you know there's been a bunch of things that fortnite put in that a lot of people didn't like and they thought that they they thought themselves it was going to be like a good idea but nobody liked so you know they scrapped it a few days later then they, that's when they create uh they come out with somebody else they i said somebody else they come out with some other things and keep putting it, they did it i respect it bro i really respect it and that's why fortnite is the number one battle royale game I mean, I think me personally, I feel like it's been Fortnite has been what the number one battle uh, battle royale game um, for the last five years. Do I play it the most out of all battle royale games? No, but at the same time, the numbers do not lie, bro. As much listen, you can sit there and you can hate on Fortnite for uh, bro until until you pass away. But at the end of the day, bro, Fortnite is. I don't want to. Yeah, I'm gonna say it, bro. Fortnite might be the greatest battle royale of all time in my opinion if we're going off of just revenue like you know revenue numbers right because that's you know statistics whatever you if you want to go off of that fortnite is number one you know and it's no surprise bro because they listen to their community like i said before they're not afraid to fail you cannot be afraid to fail, especially in the video game industry bro like just know not everything is going to hit bro like a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people think that you know. Well, some gaming companies think that every every update has to be picture perfect. That they have to change something. You know, you don't have to change anything. That's the thing. I feel like a lot of gaming companies get that pressure to change. Like every single, you don't have to. If you're a game like Fortnite, right? And you know, when it comes to like skins and events stuff like that, then obviously you know you have to change it up and switch it up. But when, for for some companies, bro, and you know, I'm not gonna say any names. They don't have to change anything. Honestly, they really don't. They can, they can tweak some things. There's a, there's a difference between tweaking something and changing something. They can tweak some things, but like, there's a couple of uh, gaming companies out there that change their whole thing, and it throws everybody off. It it literally throws everybody off. So, uh, Fortnite, they're doing a, they're still doing a, good, a, a really good job. They're maintaining their audience. Um, they're, they're delivering, bro. They're delivering. Uh, I don't want to bring up another game because I'm talking about Fortnite, but uh, but same, uh, same with Warzone. Warzone. Right now, right now, for me, Warzone is more enjoyable to play than Fortnite, right? Um, they brought in the Resurgence. First of all, let me just say, the pacing of Resurgence is 10 times better than their uh than the regular battle battle royale mode obviously there's more people and there's stuff like that it's 10 times better bro this it's the small things you you know the game for me before the resurgence before like the the plate thing before the chess you know all the little minor uh problems stuff and, and setbacks and stuff like that before warzone for me was unplayable i can play it i felt like at that time playing warzone was like a chore like i had to do it you know uh, even though I wanted to get better at the game, that's why like it felt like a chore because I wanted to get better, but at the same time I didn't enjoy it, so it, was, it, it, it felt like a chore. So, um, bro, Warzone Two right now is is in a good state. I actually know Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two in general is, is in a good state. They added the rank play mode, absolutely amazing. When it comes to Warzone Two, again, I don't want to you know keep talking about Warzone if, if this is a Fortnite video, but when it comes to Warzone Two, bro, uh, the Resurgence mode definitely came in clutch. Uh, I feel like it should have been dropped this day one. And I mean, I, you know, again, right now, bro, Warzone 2 is looking really good, bro. It's feeling good. Everything feels amazing. You, I think you play faster as well. When I was playing yesterday on my stream, if you guys check out my Twitch at the bottom of the screen, when I was playing yesterday, um, you know, uh, live streaming yesterday, uh, Warzone, I, it felt like you were playing faster. You can play while you're running. So you don't have to, so like, it, it's, it's just a small things that that's expected, right? Are, are finally in the game and like, it's 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 fun bro the game is fun let me just say that the game is fun i don't want to go on a, a 30 minute rant but you know the the game is fun now we'll, we don't know what they're going to do next whatever but the game is fun now um shout out to fortnite comment down below what you guys think of the video and oh subscribe to the channel like the video if you guys uh, uh enjoyed my reaction i'm over here st uh, uh, stuttering and stuff like that um but yeah i'll see you for next one i'm out and